go check the surf. Not look too bad, a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, but um, I think the lefts look good today. I think we're gonna have to go left, guys. That's my back end. We're gonna have to go on our back end today. Let's do it. If you're new here, my name is Kale. I'm a filmmaker and a free surfer, and here you'll find all sorts of epic surf content like tutorials to help you surf better, important reviews, and more. So subscribe down below and join me on Instagram at Kale's Broccoli. It's well known that at least 90% of surfers prefer to surf on their forehand rather than their backhand. And unless you're someone like Philippe Toledo or Joanne DeFay, it can be a little more challenging to do so. to give you guys some serious game changes when it comes to your backhand surfing. These same hints and tricks totally changed my own approach in a really positive way and I'm going to break them down for you as well. The first hint I'm going to share with you is something I noticed clearly when I went surfing with world number five surfer Joanne DeFay. I asked Joanne to perform a backside turn on the smooth star for me. And I noticed something really powerful. When Joanne performed her backside turn, her leading shoulder rotated externally quite significantly. I started watching back all of my past videos and realized that the turns I performed where I did the same thing were effective and kind of cool. The ones where I didn't rotate my shoulder properly, I often bogged or got caught up. Now, this isn't a penny, but you get what I mean. Throughout all my surfing career, 17 years of it, I'd never been told this explicitly. I had always been told, point to where you want to go, open up the shoulders to do so, and all the rest of it. But this one cue, externally rotating the leading arm, totally changed my approach and developed a huge degree of consistency on my back end that I'm really happy with. Like this is really important to break down because I've just had so many surfing clients recently who just can't surf well on their back end. They nosedive at the bottom, they struggle to keep in the top half of the wave and overall they're just not confident. If we look at what happens when we externally rotate our leading arm we find that it actually opens up the shoulders and allows for a more full rotation. Let me show you. Externally rotating the arm to the point of actually turning the palm to face upward increases the twisting torsion from the upper body to the lower body. This forces more pressure and speed into our rotation, which results in a sharper and more powerful turn. With the increased rotation, this allows us to engage more of our backside rail during the bottom turn as the twisting pressure from our shoulders reaches our heels. This allows us to go more vertical with our turn and to avoid bogging rail whilst doing so. This one small hack has totally changed my approach and consistency while surfing on my back end, and I know it's gonna help you too. Remember, as we've spoken about in previous videos, the eyes do a lot of the work here. Where you look is where you go. Remember that rule? So when you go out and practice this, I want you to be really consciously identifying visually the sections on the wave that you wanna to get to. In fact, that part of the wave should be the first place you look to after you take off. So, in reflection, the first step of the process after taking off on your back end? 
look to the spot on the wave where you want to be. Then, the next step, externally rotate the leading arm and shoulder to create the torsion force which will initiate the turn and engage the backside rail. We couldn't talk about backside surfing without talking about this one huge elephant in the room and that is the bottom turn and more specifically the position of the legs during the bottom turn. I remember I used to struggle with this a lot when I was younger and I was in California and I was struggling with coordinating and just doing successful backside turns but I saw this guy who was shredding and I said hey what's the trick with this? He said Pretend that you're almost sitting in a chair when you do your backside bottom turn. He said, get so low that your bum almost skims across the wave. Think about that. He's saying, get so low that you're almost sitting in a chair. Let me show you this visually. It's a little bit easier. This position right here at the bottom of the wave, you can understand what the guy meant. We've called this position the coiled spring before, so we'll use the two analogies interchangeably. The legs in this position must be very strong and the core muscles need to be activated. Notice my back position as well. It is not bent over and flaccid. It is upright and strong. This position causes one important thing to occur and that is the super engagement of the backside rail. The board here is being totally stressed against the surface of the water and is being propelled back up the face of the wave as a result. There is a fine line, a small optimal range in which this position works. Too far forward and there is not enough rail engagement. Too far back and the surfer will fall off. The best surfers know this optimal zone and squat into it perfectly every time. Of note here is the weight distribution amongst the feet. Most of the weight is in the heels, but also the weight is back foot dominant. This is because if there is too much weight on the front foot, it increases the chances of the nose of the board catching as you turn. Too much weight in the back foot, however, will result in a stall rather than a bottom turn. So tinker with it a little bit on each wave and you'll find the sweet spot. Welcome to the garage. Now finding repeat waves on which to practice the techniques that we've talked about today is a little bit tricky. It's pretty rare that you go out and you have a session where you can just catch left after left, not worry about the crowd and just practice again and again until you've got it right. And that's why I love coming down here and using the Smooth Star to practice everything. Now I think I, ideally to work on your backside surfing with the Smooth Star, you do need somewhere that has a slight gradient on which you can work. Because remember, a wave is not a flat surface, it's a steep surface. So what I like to do is hop on this and just work different aspects of my backside surfing over and over again until I've got it right. The process is the same. You should be imagining that there is a wave that you are surfing when you are doing this. The eyes identify the section. The leading arm and shoulder rotate externally. You adopt the coiled spring or sitting in a chair position and then you perform the turn. What I like about this is that you can also practice the rebounding turn as consistently as well. The reverse twist of the leading arm as it then rotates internally back down the wave and the body follows. Remember that backside surfing although relying on the same principles as surfing regular is a little different and is naturally going to be more difficult simply because we're not facing the wave that we're trying to surf. But I think with the correct application of the techniques that I've showed you guys today, I would be very surprised if you don't have some rapid progress in the following week.
If you're new here, my name is Kale. I'm a filmmaker and a free surfer, and here you'll find all sorts of epic surf content like tutorials to help you surf better, important reviews, and more. So subscribe down below and join me on Instagram at Kale's Broccoli.